Hello, this is Chuck. We are back again with another set of Sherlock Holmes, The Awakened. We just... Watson should be done his mission now, so hopefully this will... trigger a cutscene, or... Oh, yeah. Holmes, what on earth did you say to Barnes to put him in such a state? Not now, Watson, although I'm sure this bit of news is most significant. It must wait. We are piecing together a singular affair. This abduction story is much more complex than it appears. As I noted before, our next move is to locate the place of employment for one of the villains who abducted the young Maori. What part of London would such a man call home? Okay. How am I supposed to know that? Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. Okay, so, okay. Ooh. Um, my goodness. Open samples. Okay, and that gets us nothing. Hmm. Docks? Yes, Watson. There is little room for doubt. Our man is a bargeman who works at the Thames River wharfs. He is more precisely employed to transport and handle fish brought in by various ships. Our next step is obvious. We must find a cab and make haste to the Thames near the warehouses. Okay, so this is very interesting um i know we can fast travel but i just want to go outside and take the carriage so that's that there's a lot of new uh, kind of um things to this game such so as the different perspectives good day mr robes ah i see Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the writing thing was new to me, so... Why did we come here, Holmes? Brr, it's rather sinister here, and so cold. Precisely, Watson. Ah, good. Here's a pub. We can warm ourselves inside. Excellent, Holmes. Okay. Um... Okay, I want you to go inside the door, not to the wall. The cursed mermaid. Good day to you, sir. Could you serve up two of your best pints and some information, if you please? My pleasure, sir. What can I do for you? My friend and I are looking for a man who works one of the fishing boats at the docks. The name of the ship escapes me, but I do know for certain fact it has a coal-fed boiler. In truth, there are dozens of such boats that lay anchor here every day. What can you tell me about the look of him? Only that he is a robust man, about this size, wearing iron soles. Little help there. You've just described half of my customers. I have nothing for you. Here now, look for a man called Harper. He lives in a house not far from here, after the bridge near the warehouses. You can't go wrong finding his place. It has a large anchor painted on it. Either way, I am in your debt. Please tell me, for curiosity's sake, what troubles your friend? He's been waiting ever so long for a new wooden hand. It was to be here yesterday, but still no sign of it. He is quite low and has taken to the drink. 
the devil last night a nasty flea woke me and me with only the hook on me scratching hand <laughs> and to add to me worries imagine last summer I had worms worms Yes, Graham says what it was. A sudden attack in the middle of the night. Again with only the one hand and that blasted hook on the other. Hit me misery. I used the wrong hand. <laughs> Lord, I was unable to so much as sit for three weeks. <laughs> well, gentlemen, again, thank you. Have a nice day. Sherlock is like... Uh, let's just move on. Oh, that's staff only. We can't go back there. As lovely as that would be. Really? You can't give me directions to footsteps to go there and deny me. I'm sorry, gentlemen. This is private property. There's no entry here. Ah, interesting. Okay. Um, well, either way... Fish. Uh, we have a place to go. Ugh. Oh, now you follow me, huh? Okay. Let's go out and find... Where do you say this house was again? I check that dialogue box. Barman, barman, da da Alcoholic. Da da Call her, but lives in the house not far from here. After the bridge, near the warehouses. After the bridge. Ah, that bridge. House, a house, a house. Wait. Oh no. These are the warehouses. So we go down. This is a house. Is this the house? Or is that the house? That's a house. The one with the lights on. You would think it's the one with the lights on. Closed tight. Or, you know, you could knock, like most people would Closed, do. tight. What do you make of this, Holmes? I was curious of why I could talk to him. I guess apparently you just can talk to him. Or maybe it's this place? No one is here. Sorry, I saw a rope. This old rope seems intact. No trace of soot present. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. <laughs> I'm making Sherlock run around and around. Oh, okay. Excuse me for disturbing you, but I'm looking for a man named Mr. Harper. Do you know him? He lives just opposite you. He gone. Boat. Boat. Watson, I know this accent. These people are Nepalese, and as luck would have it, I am familiar with this dialect. Nepalese? Holmes, are you sure? Aho Nitra. Chegong se Nitra. Ah, Nitro. Tro. Bo Petro. Toro Mitro. Toka. This woman says her family has suffered a grave misfortune. This altar is for her son, a lad of 16, who disappeared just one week ago. Could he have run away to sea, or some other youthful adventure? Il koga bratsein, but presindra kum. Bo petro toro mitro ka waekta do rikoto a nito tro petro. She said a man was seen in the area making inquiries about her son and their family. The man worked at the docks and had a silver eye. Yes, exactly. He was a vile man with one silver eye. Malinhe gas. Sundra brokat hardu. 
Ona liga, toro mitro, ka, petro, toka, a nito, waekto rikota. She also says her son's belongings are on this altar. She says we may examine them and take anything that might help find her son. But what does this have to do with Captain Stenick's servant? I'm sorry, did you not listen to all the people missing, Watson? Hmm. This is not Nepali. It looks like silver, but judging by the weight, it's a fake. Hmm. Petro, Hidoka! Is that literally it? The silver coin? Come on, there has to be something else. Um, I'm just gonna not try not to stand on you. Okay, seriously, that was it? It's quite a nice medallion. Okay, well, I guess that's it because that there literally is nothing else. So I guess we're going. So a lot of people have been kidnapped. Watson, are you gonna follow us out anytime? Thank you. Wasn't that lovely? Watson, it appears this young man is ill. Be a good man and see how serious it is. Here now, my young man. Let's have a look at you. Oh, oh, Holmes. This man isn't ill. He's drunk. He fairly reeks of alcohol. Oh... Oh, it's not my fault. I swear it. Oh, oh, my head. Oh, this gang of young toughs. They forced it on me. And then on top of it, they stole my parcel. What's that? You say you were forced to drink. Explain this and spare no details. Yesterday afternoon, I was given a parcel to deliver to an address not far from here. I was near the warehouse district when a, a gang of young lads attacked me. Before I could think, they drew knives and gave me a bottle, telling me if I valued my life, I'd better drink it all. Well... Let me tell you, I drank without stopping. I became giddy, and then must have passed out. I remember nothing else except waking up a moment ago, finding myself alone, my parcel gone. But what could they have wanted, Holmes? It's obvious, Watson. They were seeking some poor soul on whom to test their vile concoction. Tell me, could this bottle be the one they gave you? I can't say. It could be. I feel ill just looking at it. Hmm. It has a unique flavor. Rather tasty, I might add. There's no mistaking my senses. This contains turnips. In fact, a liberal amount. But where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located in this district, they may have much to tell us.
I feel like this area is like is so big that I could just be going around missing things. <laughs> Ow, I just bit my cheek. Anyway. Like, I literally could be going around anywhere. I'm assuming things just make into one really big circle. Whoa. That part of the warehouse seems an ideal place to hide, but it would be difficult for anyone to get there. Whoa. There is a lot of alcohol. So, what about it? I am missing something. <laughs> what? Okay, sorry. The police house, smugglers, wharf number three. Sorry, did I say three? Wharf number 13. He's missing something, so there is some, I guess, some sort of secret code of that sort. These are the smugglers. I feel like... Okay, I'm gonna drop into first person view. And I think we made our way back around. Or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Look at this flat 2D door. Mm. Stuff here. No. Dice. Ooh, that's you, Watson. Scared me for a bit. Anything... Watson, where'd you go? I have to say, it's somewhat weird with Watson just following me. <laughs> like, if I... I can always <laughs> see him out of the corner of my eye. Um, man, I don't even know where we are right now. Liquor, fragile. Or fragile, I should say, if I want an American accent. Um, <laughs> we have here a door with a 2D lock. Okay, that's nothing. I get paranoid because I just don't want to miss anything. Um, yeah. Said I am almost out of time. Oh, 
Oh, ship. Hey. I can't jump. What do I have to do to make my way around? And we made our way around. Interesting. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I'm sure, I mean, I haven't, I only went one direction, so I don't know what possibly is on the other side. Hello, the book. Can we pick it up, the book? No, we can't pick up the book. Oh, there's a note. Oh, Kelly, the baby came to say to me that Sandra began giving birth and that she claims me. The boat is clear. You will easily find registers not far, Philo. Interesting, but not what we need. Oh, damn it. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna have to end set here. I do not know where I what I should be doing next, but we'll try to figure it out. We need to explore. I never s explored the other side of the bar. So what we got? We got a guy who ha doesn't have his wooden hand yet. Some dude got forced to drink alcohol. We have a bunch of smugglers with possibly some sort of passcode that we do not have yet. And yeah, that's about it. But it already seems like there's there's a lot to do with possibly things that don't seem to connect but really are connected. Or I could just be hopeful, wishing. Man, I feel like I've been following this boat for a really long time. Hey, Watson. Um, I know I said I was going to end the set, but I just really want to check. I just, I need, need, I need to check. Oh, and it's water. So there is nothing on this other side. Hmm. Okay, well, either way, oh, come on. So, until next time, guys, thank you for liking if you like, thank you for favoriting if you favorited, thank you for subscribing if you subscribe, thank you for commenting if you commented, and thank you for clicking on this video like I'm trying to click to get him to go further. You can't go further. No, you can go further. Okay, so until next time, guys, see ya!